Students, this video is being created for your help. So that you know what steps you need to perform to connect to your project supervisors via Microsoft Teams. First, if you have not yet created Microsoft Teams ID, then go to google.com and search MS Teams. Let's click on first link, then click sign in. Then click create one link. So, you can create a new ID here. In case you already have done it. Then you might be seeing the existing account here just like me. Here, you should use an email ID that is not having a Microsoft account already. Otherwise you will see this message. If you need more help on creating new account, go to YouTube and search, How to Create New Microsoft Teams Account. Supervisors MS Teams ID, is usually shared via announcements, via project file and sometimes email. For example, if the supervisor's name is Saad Mahmood, and the MS Teams ID is, saad.mahmood underscore one at outlook.com then use the search box and copy paste the ID. Then press enter. Then click people tab or option from the top. If you have used correct ID, then the first search result will be correct for the supervisor. Then click on the arrow shown to open the chat window with the supervisor. Next you should use the pin option to pin the chat on top of chats area. This way your supervisor will always appear on top of chats. Then you should send a message to the supervisor indicating your student ID. Next task is open the edit option from top right side and then clicking on pencil icon. And enter your student ID inside first name or last name. This will make it easy for supervisor to search via student ID. Thus, for any type of final project Viva, you can connect to supervisor easily. It is very important to note that when the Viva session time starts, you will start the call. You should send message one minute before the start time to supervisor that I am ready. So, always start the call at the specified time yourself. In case your supervisor has asked you to wait, then you should start the call after the waiting time indicated by supervisor. After all the steps discussed in video, if you still are having any issues connecting to supervisor then contact supervisor via email so that you can mutually resolve issues or errors and connect to supervisors easily. During the Viva, you often need to turn on the camera, so you can use this icon to turn it on. And for screen sharing, use this option. Make sure you select screen or entire screen option instead of window option so that your supervisor can see full screen during the Viva session. Thank you.